after we have identified the possible zeros for this polynomial, let's try to factor the polynomial. If we have no other information, then what we need to do is trial and error. Choose each one of those numbers, perform synthetic division, and find out if the result is zero. If the result is zero, then this would mean that the factor, the number that we started to do the synthetic division, is a zero for the polynomial. So, let's try negative one. Now, the polynomial that you have is x to the third, the first coefficient is one, negative three x squared, the second coefficient is negative three, and negative four. But we are missing a term here, and the term is the term zero x. So this means that you need to, to add the zero in order to perform correctly the, the division, the synthetic division. So the first step that you do is that you bring down the one, you multiply negative one by one, the result is negative one. You add negative three and negative one, the result is negative four. You multiply negative four by negative one, right here. The result will be four. You bring down the four, you multiply the 4 by the negative 1, the result is negative 4, and the answer is negative 8. <clears throat> so this means that negative 4 is not a 0 of this polynomial. Let's continue with the number 1. Again, you have 1, negative 3, 0, and negative 4. You bring down the 1, you multiply 1 by 1 and the result is 1, you add it to negative 3, the result is negative 2, you multiply 1 by negative 2 and the result is negative 2, you put it down, you multiply 1 by negative 2 and the result is <clears throat> negative 2, and the final result is negative 6. So this means, again, that 1 is not a solution of this polynomial. You should continue with negative 2, or with any other number that you decide. As you can see, if you use trial and error, you may take forever until you identify the solutions. That's why in the next, next time, I will show you some extra theorems that they will help you to identify the full solutions faster. You bring down the 1, you multiply by negative 2, you add here, the result is negative 5, negative 5 times negative 2, the result is 10, you add it here, 10 times negative 2, the result is negative 20, and so on, the result is negative 24. So, although we have identified the possible zeros, Finding which ones of those are the zeros can be really tricky. So, this time, we are going to find out if there are any other methods that they will help us to uh, eliminate some of the steps and find the solutions faster.